<laughs> oh my god, it's not even that funny! It's pretty funny. Oh no, it's hilarious, Thomas. How do you just leave behind the whole trade of coaches like that? <laughs> what? I told you, I didn't tell them. How'd they find out, James? Oh, Thomas, it's all the station master would talk about. He was absolutely amazed at how such a thing could happen. <laughs> I'd be amazed too by such idiocy. Like, how does that even happen? I... I... I thought... Uh... He thought the coaches were helping him by pushing him. <laughs> Honestly, I think... Know. Coaches don't do that, Thomas. <laughs> they don't care about engines. Well, that's debatable, actually. Let's get one thing straight here. Coaches are not troublesome trucks who have no respect for us whatsoever. Oh, yeah, no, trucks can be cremated in a furnace for all I care. They're lost cause. Yeah, trucks are no one's friend. James, you would know a lot about trucks. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, no, I'd take that as a compliment, actually. I mean, you still pull trucks, but at least you know better than to leave your trade behind. Oh, ha, ha, ha. So funny. Ha, ha, ha. But you know, Henry, I can't actually pull... Henry, you literally pull trucks as well. What are you talking about? James, shut up. What'd you say, Thomas? You know, I can actually pull trucks, right? I've done it before. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I've done it before you even came here. No one but me and Edward pulling nothing but trucks. Ah. So what happened? Well, since we were both dying from all the extra work, Sir Topper Matt got another engine to help with the goods work. And that's when you came along, Henry. <laughs> but then Sir Topper Matt realized, oh wait, this engine sucks. I need to order another one. <laughs> so then Gordon came along. <laughs> a big, new, strong, oh, yeah. tender engine yep. with no functional problems whatsoever. That sounds about right. But instead of that, he was just the biggest piece of rebellious garbage what? who only wants to pull couches because he's a big, strong, tender engine who doesn't pull goods trains whatsoever. So, uh, got to order another one. So now we have James. Yup. Hey! Well, Thomas, that was just a wonderful history lesson, my friend. But it doesn't change the fact that you still left your train behind. You can't make us forget that. And I think that's a great note to end the night off on. Good night, everybody. Oh, yes. That's enough slander for one night. Yeah, good night, Thomas. Is that all I am to you? Just another good engine? Jay, shut up and go to sleep. God. Huh. No respect. No respect for a splendid red engine like me. Oh, my me. God. Go to sleep. All right, I'm going to sleep. Jeez. Hmm. Thomas? You're still up? Hmm. Yeah. I couldn't sleep. Oh. Did you hear about my little fiasco with the coaches too? Uh, no. What happened with the coaches? Don't worry about it. it. It went fine. I'm just... I'm just so tired of it, Edward. What do you mean? Everyone here treats me like scum after everything I do for them. I just... I just want to get out of here. Out of this yard. I want to see the world. Hmm. You want to see the world? Well, that's <laughs> the world is huge, Thomas. I mean, no, no engines ever traveled the world before. I'm not that's even... not what I meant, Edward. No, I understand. You do miss pulling trains, don't you? More than anything. Hmm. Well, tell you what. How about tomorrow? I am on shunting duty while you take my goods train. Really, Edward? You'd do that? Of course I would. You deserve another shot after today. Well, I, well, I mean... Hmm. Thanks, Edward. That will be nice. Wait, after today? So you did know about the coaches? Th what? No, of course not. Why, why would I... Uh, uh, all right, yes, I did know. But that's nothing to be ashamed about. It happens, Thomas. We aren't perfect. We're machines. We're bound to mess up at some point. And when we mess up, we don't dwell on our mistakes. We improve on them. So Top of Matt knows that. Why do you think he didn't punish you for that blunder? Uh, I, uh, because he knows you're useful, Thomas. Just you wait and see. And I'll tell you this real quick. I spoke to the station master at Wellsworth, and he said you did a fantastic job pulling those coaches. Hmm. But it's only because once you realized you messed up, you went back and you tried again and got the passengers home. That, my friend, is being very useful. Hmm. Thanks, Edward. You're welcome. Well, Thomas, I'm going to call it a night. Those late-night trains take a lot out of me. 
I'll tell you all the details you need to know in the morning. So don't leave until I tell you. We also have to make sure it's okay with Sir Topham Hatt. Oh, good night. Good night. Edward! 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 What? Wake huh? up! Huh? Oh dear, I'm sorry sir, I'm awake now. Where is Thomas? Uh, what, 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 Thomas, well he's... Oh no. What does oh no mean, Edward? <sighs> well guys, Edward's late again. I think it's finally happened. <laughs> what a surprise. The old man probably fell in a coma. <laughs> About time. <laughs> either that or he forgot us. I wouldn't doubt that either. <laughs> well, when he does come and pick us up, we should give him a little wake-up call for being late. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here he comes now. Duh, I don't think that was Edward. Yeah, that wasn't Edward, you idiot. Uh, is that... Is that Thomas? Come on, come on, let's move it! Oh, 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 what was that for? What happened to Edward? Oh, I believe you're mistaken. I'm your engine for today. Oh, what? No. Oh, come on, you don't want me to be your engine? No, you suck. We need a proper engine to pull us. We want Edward. Yeah. yeah. Hey! Oh, oh. Now that's enough. Keep up the slander and I'll bump you again. Yeah, I didn't think so. Now, let's just enjoy a nice little stroll along the line. Oh! 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 Come on! Don't fuss with me! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! It hurts! I'm pulling too hard! Come along! I thought you liked going fast! Not with you! You pull us too hard! Oh, whatever! I'm already late! Better get used to it, because I'm not slowing down anytime soon! Uh, uh, no, no, now hold on! You heard a voice! He wants to go fast! Let's let him. Oh. <laughs> hmm. There we go. Now that's better. Oh dear, he's already left. Right then, we'll just have to stop him then. You stay here, Edward. We're going to have a talk when I get back with Thomas. Yes, sir. All right now, up we go. <laughs> hold back! Hold, hold back! back! Hold oh! back! Oh! oh, what the hell? Come on! <laughs> Go faster, all right. In your faces! Your plan failed! I've reached the top! Push up now! Oh, 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 oh. Hey! Whoa! Whoa, 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 Oh! oh my god! Stop pushing! Oh, oh my god, this is too fast! Too fast! Faster! 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 <laughs> Look out for the train! Stop pushing! No, 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 no! Stop pushing! Stop pushing. Stop pushing. <laughs> Asking questions, thank you, Thomas. What on earth are you doing here? I, 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 uh, I, I brought Edward's trucks, sir. Hmm. You brought them, or you took them? I, well, I. Uh... Because the way I saw it, 
You left the sheds before I could even tell you it's all right for you to take his goods train. No, no, sir, I... Uh, I don't you dare lie to me, Thomas. I... I... Uh, I thought you would say no. I wanted to surprise you. No, believe me, I am surprised, Thomas. I... Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I know you are. And you should be. I just... I just wanted to show you that I'm more than just an engine who can do nothing but shunt coaches and wagons all day, sir. I'm so unhappy being stuck in a yard doing nothing but being looked down upon by everyone. I miss pulling trains, sir. I miss seeing the world outside the yard. I miss- All right, Thomas. I understand. I just want you to know that I know what you're capable of, Thomas. I know you can pull trains, but you need to understand that these workloads are not the same as when it was just you and Edward running the line. Even back in those days, you constantly told me you couldn't handle the work. I was a different engine, sir. I was... <clears throat> Sorry. I only want to make everyone's work environment as fair as I can. I'm trying to look out for you, Thomas. I don't want you to overwork yourself. But if you really want to leave the yard and perhaps even run your very own lion, I need to know if I can trust you first. And this... This just confirmed to me that you're not ready. Yes, sir. So for the next few weeks, Edward is going to teach you all you need to know about trucks. By then, you should know almost as much about them as him. Then you'll be a really useful engine. Yes, sir. Before that, however, deliver these goods and then go straight back to Knapford. And I want no funny business from you lot. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I thought it was fun. Off you go, then. I'm sorry, Edward. I thought I could do it. It's all right, Thomas. At least now we're working together. And you don't have to shunt coaches for the big engines anymore. Oh. I'll take it you're doing that? Yeah. Oh, God, I'm sorry, Edward. I really made a mess of things here. I thought I could be a really useful engine, but instead hey, I turned hey, out to hey, be just hey, a hey. big... Shh, shh. Don't worry about it, Thomas. It's only for a few weeks. Maybe a month. But I assure you, if you really want to get out of this yard, this is a perfect stepping stone. Trust me. I should know. Wait. You wanted to leave the yard, too? I wanted to pull the express. It was before I came here. I was young, naive, and I was very anxious. Too anxious for my own good, which led to some embarrassing mishaps. I soon learned that impatience wasn't going to get me anywhere. In fact, it only made me cause more slip-ups. But eventually, after years of waiting and preparing, I got my chance and I surprised everyone. I know someday you'll do the same, Thomas. Maybe not pull the express, but <laughs> by the end of this, you'll never have to worry about trucks pushing you again. Hmm. Thanks, Edward. Now then, let's start with the basics. Thank you. 